Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the talk show. I'm your host, Suri Smith, coming to you from the BMW showroom at Daytona Santon. Now we've got an extremely exciting show lined up for this week, so let's not waste another moment. Grab that cup of coffee and get comfortable because it is time to get this journey started. Coming up on the show. We introduce a cool mommy wagon, the Kia Sorento, and meet its rivals. We also reveal the hot new McLaren 720S as well as the BMW 7 Series, finishing off the show with motoring news. We recently had the pleasure of testing the new Kia Sorento and what a joy it was. The model that we tested was the 2.2 LS and it proved to be a more upmarket SUV with modern technologies and stylish looks. It also seemed like a great family car, perhaps the ultimate mommy wagon. Take a look and decide for yourself. the new Kia Sorento 2.2 LS. Its large stance coupled with striking line 17 inch alloy wheels and raised suspension promises comfortable driving. This diesel engine pushes out 147 kilowatts of power and 440 newton meters of torque reaching 0 to 100 in 9.3 seconds. The interior is extremely spacious. You've got good vision all around with your blind spots being completely open. Nice blend of materials and it passes the flick test. Plenty of space for you and your passenger in the front. And apart from that, you've got a multifunctional steering wheel where you can operate your sound as well as some functions from your vehicle. You've got a little display in front of you showcasing your trip, your average mile, uh, kilometers that you've gone as well as the time and the outside temperature. Turning circle on this vehicle is really good. Steering is very responsive. And this particular model is an automatic. Gear changes are very swift and interior noise is, there aren't any. You've got an armrest in the middle and you've got storage compartments where you can store larger objects. You've got a cup holder in the middle as well as a place to safely store large smartphones. Your cuppy holders on the side, you'll be able to fit larger water bottles in there which is a relief and then you can also adjust your headlights on the side. The car gets momentum really quickly. Uh, you'll go, you'll feel that on acceleration, pulling off, you do uh, leave some cars behind. <laughs> you can also connect your phone via Bluetooth, and through that you can answer calls. Unfortunately, this vehicle does not have a reverse camera that can be fitted. It does have rear sensors though.
Once you enter the vehicle, the vehicle actually notifies you to straighten up your steering wheel if the steering wheel is not straightened. So it looks after you. It's also got electrically operated side mirrors which you can easily operate. You've got a traction control option that you can switch on or off and this car also has heel start assist. The only thing that's difficult parking a larger vehicle like this is not having a reverse camera. I think just the length of this vehicle alone requires a reverse camera but that's just my own opinion is to have one fitted. Also, this car does not automatically, it has got central locking, but it doesn't lock automatically. So if you don't remember to lock this vehicle, South Africa. So the interior is quite spacious, you'll be happy to know that you, the driver and your passenger will be sitting comfortably in the front. You also have a driver side airbag and a passenger side airbag in the front, no airbags in the back. You'll also like the fact that you've got electrically operated windows as well as side mirrors. Unfortunately though, the seats are manually operated but you've got plenty of space and also plenty of compartments to be storing your little bits. Your cups will be fitting in there on the side and in the middle you've also got a ashtray conveniently provided. Apart from that you've got your 12 volt charging where you can do your USB through your phone or if you've got a car charger you could also plug it in here. Apart from that you've also got a cigarette lighter. Passengers will also have plenty of legroom and headroom space. The seats are super comfortable. Apart from that, they will also feel comfortable by adjusting their own temperature. There's also a 12 volt unit here at the back and if you do only want to be two people, you can easily sit comfortably and this car can turn into a business vehicle. We've got hooks where you can hang your dry cleaning, cup holders on the sides, there's also plenty of space in the boot. We fitted all of our camera equipment with plenty of space left to spare. There's also a full size spare wheel mounted underneath the vehicle. So will this lovely car put a dent in my pocket? At 489,995 I think not. Now we like to keep you the consumer up to date on all your options, so if you've got a family and you are on the market to buy, let's see what other mommy wagons are available. Starting with the star of our show, the Kia Sorento 2.2 CRDILS Automatic 5-seater, retailing for 489995 The 2.2-litre diesel engine with automatic gear shift will not be too heavy on your pocket as it consumes on average a low 6.7 litres per 100 kilometres. You and your front passenger will also get two airbags for your safety. Or you could opt for a Toyota Fortuna 3.0-litre D4D Epic Auto sporting a 3.0-litre diesel engine that consumes on average 9.4 litres per 100 kilometres. You will feel extra safe knowing that this vehicle has 7 standard airbags. 
Finally, you could also opt for the Ford Everest 2.2 XLS Auto, which is priced lowest out of the three, retailing at 477,900. The 2.2 litre diesel engine will consume on average 7.3 litres per 100 kilometres with an added feeling of safety and peace of mind knowing that you will get six standard airbags. Options, options, options. Moving along swiftly from mommy wagons to supercars. There has been a buzz in the motoring world and the topic of most discussions is a sexy new addition to the McLaren lineup of course. Daytona Santon had a reveal and we at the talk show was there to see it. Check this one out. The 720S introduces the second generation Super Series, the supercar product family at the heart of the McLaren brand. Stunning new interpretation of McLaren design language and dedication to aerodynamic principles personifying the brand's extreme performance DNA. Carbon fiber chassis based around monocage 2 central structure, key to the 1,283 kilogram lightest weight and unparalleled interior space and visibility. Luxurious driver focused cabin featuring the finest leathers and aluminium switches. The new 720S delivers outstanding driver engagement with best ever super series aerodynamic efficiency and new generation of McLaren's active chassis system, Proactive Chassis Control 2. Widest breadth of dynamic capability of any McLaren, ranging from precise controlled comfort to the most extreme handling power. New twin turbocharged 4 litre V8 engine produces 720 PS and 770 newton meters of torque with power to weight ratio of up to 561 PS per ton. 0 to 100 km per hour reached in 2.9 seconds with 0 to 200 km per hour reached in 7.8 seconds and a maximum speed of 341 km per hour. Breaking from 200 km per hour to standstill in 4.6 seconds, covering 117 meters. The new McLaren 720S made its national debut at McLaren Johannesburg, where the second generation of McLaren Super Series was introduced, simultaneously raising previously accepted limits of performance in the supercar sector. The new 720S is lighter, faster and even more dynamically capable than its McLaren 650S predecessor unparalleled levels of interior space and sophistication and the breadth and depth of abilities that will engage and accelerate the driver. One glance at the 720S identifies it as a bold reinterpretation of McLaren's design language. Rooted in aerodynamic principles, the beautiful form has nothing superfluous about it. Immediately and undeniably a McLaren, the new 720S is arguably the most distinctive and remarkable McLaren yet. One of the key points in the design of the new Super Series is the absence of radiator intakes on the side of the car. This function is carried out instead by the unique double skin aerodynamic form of the dihedral doors which channel air to the high temperature radiators that cool the mid-mounted engine. 
Performance is truly astonishing. Stands thought to 100 kilometers per hour, takes less than three seconds, and just five seconds later, the car has passed the 200 kilometers per hour mark on its way to a maximum speed of 341 kilometers per hour. Braking is equally impressive, the new 720S coming to a halt from 200 km per hour in just 4.6 seconds, covering 117 meters. McLaren's expertise in carbon fiber structures, every road car built by British manufacturers since the McLaren F1 in 1993 has had a carbon fiber chassis, underpins the construction of the new 720S. The architecture of the car is based around a new carbon fiber tub and upper structure, the McLaren Monocage 2. This technology delivers extreme strength and rigidity in a lightweight structure and is the ideal base of any supercar. A range of aluminium alloys are also used extensively in the chassis as well as for some body panels. A new generation of McLaren's proactive chassis control, new suspension and the established excellence of McLaren's power-assisted electro-hydraulic steering all combine to deliver huge reserves of grip, balance and performance and an unmatched breadth of dynamic capabilities. The handcrafted luxury inherent in a McLaren with the authenticity of fine leathers and machined aluminium is complemented by the revolutionary new McLaren driver interface which comprises a folding driver display and central infotainment screen. In combination with the cabin environment that establishes new standards in the supercar segment for visibility, space and comfort, these attributes give the new McLaren 720S an incredible degree of usability and validate its claim to be the most complete supercar on sale today. The new McLaren 720S is now available to order from McLaren retailers. I am definitely adding a McLaren 720S to my wish list. It's now time to take a short break, but don't go anywhere because after the break, we show you another car that has been grabbing attention.